Despicable Three. Hi everyone. We have just had a morning at Universal Studios and hopped in a lift down to the Vineland Premium Outlets. It cost $18 in a lift, which isn't too bad. I've got that link to my PayPal, so it comes out of my account at home. We've just realised as we've got here, we've still got our lanyards on, so we're just going to pop them in the rucksack, and then we'll go and have an explore. It's not the one, is it? Walking around with the Universal Studios lanyard, <laughs> going in the shops. It's like seeing a magic band at Universal, isn't it? Well, Mickey is. We've been dropped off near the Nike outlet, and there's a map right outside of here as well, so give you a bit of an idea of where we are. We're right up here in the top left corner at the moment so the plan will be probably what do you reckon go around here up there work our way in yeah i think as well we always like to sort of go to, we know where we're at when we're at the food court don't we so if we sort of start going down this way past the food court also at the food court as well there's the disney's character warehouse that can get quite busy so we'd normally like to hit that up pretty early as well seeing as we're at night we thought we might as well go in here and have a look what you find in a lot of the American shops is they'll have on top like what the deals are for the rack that you're looking at. So a lot of the ones in here is additional 20% off like your lowest ticketed price. We've got some that are 75% off. This is what's caught our eye though, these like yellow and purple shorts. They're really funky. These are an additional 20% off. We really like how these are laid out, don't we? It's good that you've got a bit of coverage for if it's like a hot sunny day or if it is raining then it is like quite a good option to come here. It's given out some rain from four o'clock today. We're here about half two, so we've come in plenty of time. There wasn't much doing in Sun, but we've come into Puma and they've got this like awesome top. I love that. And it's got like the little um, Puma logo on the arm. And this is on a rack where they're all $10. So actually, even with the exchange rate, it's not a bad deal. We'd pay that for a t shirt, wouldn't we? For Jimmy, that is. It? Yeah, we're going to get this for Jimmy. Yes, yeah. so this is a men's, but he is getting into men's small t shirts now. We found this Superman top as well in the kids section, but it's an extra large kids. We've held it up next to the the men's small and it seems pretty much exactly the same like length and size this is $30 but takes 75% off so it should just be $750 but I quite like that I quite like the colors on it we ended up getting just those two t-shirts but on the iPads I noticed the Justice League one rang through at $12 um, so I asked them is it 60% or 75% discount and they did a check and she tapped in a few buttons and then it did drop the price i know it's only four dollars fifty but it adds up and that'll like be a drink like for us later won't it be so, a yeah even though like things are on clearance rack you have got to like sometimes just keep an eye on what's ringing through like on the like, ipads next to the tills next up we're gonna head into the disney's character warehouse it used to be a while ago that people would like queue to get in here i can't see that there's any queue at the moment so hopefully we can get straight in my niece would love some of this stitch stuff they've got this three Row for $25 but it's not fleecy it's not really cozy enough I don't think for the UK they've also got these mixing bowls but I'm sorry Amy they are way too heavy <laughs> they've got this jug as well with like stitch on it that's $15 instead of 30 I know people go mad for lounge fries but don't hate me I just don't really get them but these are $37 instead of 75 which seems like it should be a good deal I don't know same with this one, this one's $37.99 instead of $75. Found the best rail so far, so we found a couple of spinner jerseys. Don't you laugh, Jim? <laughs> it's awesome rail. We've got pretzel spirit jersey, which I do actually quite like, but that's $30.99. I don't like it enough for $30.99. What I do like though, is this like fleecy jumper. It'll be so warm for winter. It's vile. The RIP is $64.99, but these are actually down to $15. RIP, it's dead. <laughs> there it goes, these fleecy jumpers, $65 down to $14.99. Okay. And that's worth $14.99 all day long. There's a reason. <laughs> He's moaning at me, but I could be getting a lot so gilet. So consider yourself lucky. Could be getting a divorce. <laughs> They're fifty dollars down to fifteen. I do actually want a gilet, but I don't want that one. These spirit jerseys are down to twenty-five dollars, but I don't know. Since we came in twenty eighteen, spirit jerseys—they're sort of like more of like a thin cotton now, rather than like the thick, like starchy material. I don't know how to describe it. But these ones—they don't wash as well as the other ones. I have absolutely no purpose for a sticker, so I'm not going to get one. But I do like this rope drop regular. It's one ninety-nine reduced from like five dollars, and they've got a Disney World one as well we do quite like a rope drop don't we After this, we don't. <laughs> the fleecy jumper for $15 was the only purchase made in there in the end but 
There were some better deals in there than what we saw in February, I'd say. Next to the character warehouse is the food court, and this is where you can pick up the voucher booklets. So we're going to go in here before we go any further so that we can pick one up, and it's just that middle section there where it says Simon Guest Services. It says on here you can buy them for $10, but actually when you buy your like park tickets, you tend to get a voucher through where you can pick up one of these for free. I've shown this in previous videos, but I'm always conscious that some of the deals might change. Not all of the shops are listed in here but I'll just show you a couple of good ones that we might use for example we really like Columbia I don't know that we'd spend $75 but if we do then you could get 10% off last time we came to these outlets there was like a stall in the middle that was selling these like mango lemonade like bobber drinks and so Jim's trying to like manifest one to appear so that we can get one it's like all we've spoke about when we've said that we're coming to the outlets we just really want this like mango drink don't we we're toying with the idea of drinking the food court won't we but it's like no no not one bobbers here we're holding out for the bobbers i've bought a couple of tops from here last time vineyard vines we've bought jimmy a long sleeve vineyard vines top and on the back it's got that american football whale on it it was half price so 29 dollars down to 15 dollars but like i say these wash up really really well and it's a beautiful green color that really suits jimmy jim was looking at some button-up shirts but they didn't have his size but on the way out we've just spotted they've got all of these like in size order loads of options and these are all 50 percent off so a lot of the shirts they're 70 dollars half price so 35 dollars is what you'd pay for sort of like a decent shirt in the uk and these just wash really nice so it's just trying on for size but it fits you quite well nicely that does yeah, I thought it was short yeah but at least we've got an idea of size in we can have a look but all down this strip there's quite a few shops that we'll want to go in there's vans converse Sumis, crocs and over here there's a new balance factory store as well first of all we're going to head into columbia see what things they've got in here i didn't know that columbia did arrange with star wars so it looks like they've got like a short sleeve shirt and like some sort of like gilet thing they're 25 percent off jim's found like is it like a windbreaker just like a really light lightweight one can't stop buying a windbreaker i know nice colors though this one's got three zips you've got a chest zip as well meant to be 15 down to 25 it's all right this is on a clearance rack as well jim will laugh at this they've got a disney columbia range and like on the back You've got like a little um, hiking Mickey on like the bum. So if you wanted some Mickey trousers, they're $80 down to 40. It's actually quite nice waterproof trousers and you've got a zip on it as well. They had some really nice fleeces in there as well. You got a fleece last time we were in there, but there wasn't anything enough where we felt like we wanted to buy it, so. I would have bought that windbreaker had I not bought a windbreaker for this holiday, literally before yeah. I came away. There's only so many windbreakers that you need. It was nice, I was sitting with that extra zip pocket, I was, yes. you know, zips and chains. We're gonna go in vans next. We've had some real deals on trainers on here in the past and the cheapest that I've found is probably these for 35, which isn't too bad but mostly you're looking at around $50 for most of the trainers. We're in the New Balance factory store now, and I know this is something that I can compare to back home because I was looking up some New Balance 237s just before we came out. I ended up getting some 327s, but these mostly, like the cheapest you can get them in the sale is maybe 50 quid, but generally they're about like 80 quid. And these are buy one get one 50% off so this you're kind of saving some money getting them out here they've got some three two sevens as well but I'd say this is pretty much what you're paying back home we had to look back on our old video to see where we got that mango drink from and it was Wetzel's pretzels we haven't seen it yet have we okay. I'm hoping it's still here because I am parched we keep seeing other things but just you know when you've really got like a craving of like one specific thing in your head we're trying to hold out. We've walked all the way around and there definitely ain't no Wetzel's pretzels here, is there? So it must be at the other outlet or it's closed down. There ain't going to be no mango bobber in our future today, is there? Didn't manifest itself after all, did it? No. What we're doing now is we're going to head back to the food court. We're just going to have like a bit of a snack, definitely get a drink. And then I think after that, we're going to go up to PetSmart and Walmart, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. All the marts. We're back in the food court now, and this place has caught our eye. It's called the Bow Spark, but they do just like little bow buns, and they're pretty cheap. I mean, like $5.75 just for one, but we're thinking that's just enough to keep us going. I'm going to get a fried chicken bow bun, Jim's going to get a pork belly one, and then we're going to just get a Coke each as well. This looks nice as well, though. They do bacon Brussels sprouts and gyozas. 
It's really quite a nice menu actually. While we're waiting for the bail bonds, I'll just show you what else they've got down at this um, Vineland outlet. So we've got a Shake Shack, which you can get in London, so I don't think I'll go for one of them over here. There's Asian Chow, Warwick Express, Carito, there's Charlie, Philly Cheesesteaks over there. Around the back in the corner, there's a Starbucks. And then over this side, there's a Pokey One and a Half Fresh Fish, a Saku Japan, a Green Beet, which looks very healthy, and a Villa Italian Kitchen. The bow spot's sort of like at the back in the middle, isn't it? It's not in like a traditional spot. Looking forward to trying this though. All in all, shopping wise, all we bought is the three t-shirts for Jimmy and I've got that amazing fleece from the Disney store. I think that's been best like bargain of the day because that was quite a lot of money off. I'm quite conscious of working out if something is a good deal and like would you pay that same money for something that you would back home. I think it's quite easy on holiday to get carried away with. That's a lovely t-shirt, it's $35, all that's 30 something quid but would you spend like 30 something quid on a t-shirt back home and it's like weighing up you know not to get too carried away with like the holiday spirit while we've been here as well they've got some really good wi-fi like all around the center and we had a whatsapp telephone call with jimmy like after he's finished school and we've sent him pictures of the t-shirts that we've got him and he really likes everything which is good we're quite glad we managed to catch him now though because at least we could have returned stuff if he didn't like it but it was really nice just to have like a proper like telephone call with him like hear about his day and everything he's, he's doing absolutely fine he's looking after holly for us as well snack is served He's put both the bow buns in the one carton. Wow. These actually look really awesome and just to sort of give you a bit of an idea on size. But yeah, that's just a perfect little snack of noodle that is. There's loads of sauce in there. That is lovely. Nice, no, nice and hot. Mm. It tastes like, um, it doesn't say what batter it is. I mean, it tastes like, um, you know, like tempura. You know that like when you have tempura prawns? I knew you were going to say tempura because that's the only batter anyone ever knows, isn't it? Like, name another batter, go. Yeah. Be a battered onion ring, is that style? But it's like a really like crispy batter and I weren't expecting that. Yeah. I was expecting like KFC sort of consistency, but it's like really crunchy. Impressive. It's so nice, yeah. I like that it's an open bar rather than a closed one as well. I prefer these type of bowel buns to like a yeah. closed one, yeah. Jim's just trying the pork belly bowel bun now. The meat, the pork's all really nice, sort of crispy on the outside. Beautiful time, it's not dry. Loads of flavour, I really like that. Yeah, it's 5.30 now as we're heading out of the outlets. What we're going to do is go back to Nike, because that's where they've got one of the rideshare like, drop-off pickups, and then we're going to request the lift from there to head over to like the Walmart PetSmart area. So once we get over there, I'll show you how much it's going to be, just to give you an idea of, just like budget really, for getting around the area on the ride chairs. We're starting to feel a spot of rain in the air, aren't we? Spitting. You literally can't miss the ride chair drop-off and pick-up points. There's a couple of benches here, and as you look out, you can tell like the curb's a little bit different, just where it's green, because everywhere else it's all like yellow curbs. So I've just logged into my lift app now. And for the start point, I'm going to put in the Vineland outlets just so I can make sure we've definitely got the right pickup point. And we are going to PetSmart, the Jongyang Parkway one. That's right next to a Walmart as well, and it's right up near Universal. So when you put in the Vineland Premium Outlets, you can see there's a few different like set pickup points, but you've got that little blue thing as your location marker. So I know that's the one. Also, I know Ralph Lauren's right behind us. So we're going to set that as a pickup. So, we're going to be waiting four minutes and it's going to be 17 99 So we've just got to see who it is that's picking us up now. Okay, it's just refreshed and it's going to be one minute and this is the car that we're looking for. So I quite like that you get to like see a bit of a picture of the car, picture of the driver, so you know you're going to be getting into the right car. We have just been dropped off, so this is PetSmart and I think it's pretty much a USA version of Pets at Home. So what we're planning on doing is popping in here and then if we've got time, it closes in an hour, but there's a shop called Picasso Moments Bakery next door. We might see if they've got anything there that we can take back to the hotel before heading to Walmart. And just for reference, Walmart, we're going to be walking around there, and I think it's just around that corner. The reason we're heading to PetSmart, once we said we were going to America, Jimmy was like looking up all the Stranger Things stuff that you could get. And they had a load of like dog toys and like collar charms and all sorts. I think they started selling them like a few months ago, so I don't know if they'll have any left in stock. 
but since then they've started advertising a load of Disney villain stuff and like some really cute stuff. So we're hoping to get our dog Holly some like new toys and things. I'll put in a picture of our dog Holly because she is absolutely adorable, but she basically walks around with teddies in her mouth all the time and we call them her babies. It can get a bit inappropriate when it's like Holly's ripped open a baby, but I know that if we like got her some like new toys and stuff, she'll absolutely love it. I found the Disney villain section. We've just got to pick what I think she'll like. This is one that I definitely wanted to get for her. It's um, Yago from Aladdin with like the lamp underneath. This is a really cute one. It's got like little crinkly bits on it. I think she'll really like that one. I know what we could give it to chew on. What? Not my jumper. No, Jim, don't. I'm gonna get the Captain Hook as well. This one's $7.97 in the clearance. We found the bargain bin and so far we found the thinking cap, but I'm not a big fan of like dogs dressing up. I just don't think Holly would tolerate that. We have found a walkie talkie, like little squeaky toy. So we'll get that one load you up with uh, more babies. I'm gutted that we weren't here in time for when they had like the full Stranger Things stand but we have got a walkie talkie so we've got something. I'm sure Holly will be happy though because she's got like two soft teddies and then she's got like the squeaky walkie talkie as well. This is proper cute, they've got a little Grogu pumpkin toy as well, that's $6.99. We've actually got quite a bit of Star Wars stuff, some really nice things, they've got a bone, they've got like a little C-3PO Oh, <laughs> Holly would love that, but I think we've got enough for her. We've purchased everything, so Holly's got her three new babies when we get home, and I feel a bit like less guilty now leaving her with my mom because she will love that, won't she? She's so cute. Like when she wants to go to bed, she'll like pick up a baby and like come and sit on your lap and like look at you. She's she is like our child, like <laughs> isn't she? she is. We're gonna go in and check out this Picasso moments now, just to see. <gasps> hey up, Jim. Bobber T. Oh. Bobber T. Do you wanna have a go, go, Bobber? Easy. I'm loving these tables. They've got like one side with a sofa. We just came in and had like a little look around over there and there's a really nice person working here and they gave us a little taster of, I think it was like a school bread, wasn't it? And there was a chocolate something bread. Oh my gosh, it tasted divine. It was like so light and airy, wasn't it? So we decided we are actually gonna sit down and have a drink. We were thinking about just getting like a cake to take home, but it just looks so good. So they do do the um, boba milk tea and they've got a mango one, so we might try that. They've got some fruit and veg smoothies as well. They sound good. And they do some proper food here as well. They've got mango chicken rice. And then they've got a like full on like food menu as well. I think I'm gonna try the mango bobber tea, the, the milk one. What about you? I'm just going back over to the fridge to pick up the, <laughs> the Yeah? Yeah, that's the Okay. So it's just to show you, they've got, like I said, like the sofas with the tables. And then all over here, they've got like, like little like cookie packages, like a gift box with cookies. Then they've got all different like breads here as well. They've got like ice cream bread, all sorts, purple yam bread, pumpkin coconut bread, and cranberry cream cheese bread just show you some of these desserts because they look incredible they've got this mango lover one i nearly ordered that but i've gone for florida sun instead jim's gone for the snow in strawberry castle looks a bit like a trifle that does and then the mochi ice cream looked really cool as well they've got this piano here next to a painting and it says if you play two to three minutes of a beautiful song you get a free bobber tea <laughs> unfortunately i can't play piano to save my life literally my party trick on a piano is i know they're do 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 for Harry Potter and that is the only tune I know how to play. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get me a free bobber tea though. Jim's just finishing up haying over there but they've bought over the desserts. These look incredible. So this is the Florida Sun cake that I've ordered. I'm hoping it's gonna give us some good luck with the bad weather that's predicted over the next couple of days. We could really do it some Florida Sun. And then this is that, I think it was called a snow castle or something. That looks so good, it's so big as well. Just to show you our receipt, we've got the mango milk tea with the passion fruit pop-in, the snow in strawberry castle, the Florida sun orange cake, and the totals come to 22.60 plus tip. This is the drink that's come out and I absolutely love the writing on it. It says, meeting you was the most beautiful accident. <laughs> that's really sweet, isn't it? How's the trifle, I'm gonna call it. So the case, um, quite like Black Forest. Black Forest Gatto. Quite like that. It's oh. got a pretty nice. Looks lovely to be fair. So nice. I'm not sure about this. I don't know if I'm going to try it or not. Yeah. I don't know how you get the straw in. We're not like usually like bobber people, are we? That's divine. It's just I've been milking it. I'm not sure. I can't get my head around it. It doesn't taste milky. I like it. 
Lovely. Never seen a man look so scared of a bobber. <laughs> it doesn't taste milky, does it? Not for me. Really? Not for me, okay, I really like it. I'm not going to complain because then I can have all of it. <laughs> I'll stick to me dry, child that I am. Just before we leave, we noticed that they've got this wall just full of post it notes where people have like wrote messages or like drawn like little doodles. It's really cool. Just to show you this from the outside. I loved it in there. I feel so relaxed. They were playing like all that piano music. That was a really nice little find. So the only reason we found out about that online was when we were scoping out pet smarts and just sort of seeing what's around where we could potentially like get a bit of lunch or a snack or something like that. And then we like look on Google reviews. So on our last trip, that was how we found out about Gaia Kaku and Cuba Libre. And to actually find like Google reviews, like looking at a location, seeing what's around and looking at Google reviews like a really good way of finding it like finding places and finding out where's good to go we used to use TripAdvisor a while ago but I'm finding the new like TripAdvisor app it's really quite hard to actually find exactly what you're looking for it's not as uh, user friendly as it used to be so we've moved over you enjoy it in there I did I really did yeah, yeah. It's a nice little uh, place but I won't be having any milky bobbers <laughs> no milky bobbers for you sir. <laughs> but you loved it didn't you so. i really enjoyed it actually yeah there's obviously it's quite like a big thing nowadays there's like bobber shops in derby but i've never been brave enough to try like a milk one but i don't know maybe it was the piano music just sort of sent me to a new plane where i just felt like trying one today it, well, i was glad i did it was very chilling there with the music oh, i must so say yeah it's nice and relaxed thing is we're going from the chill to the chaos because all on the news like over here is about how Walmart and places like that there's no like no water and things like that where people are like prepping for this storm that's coming in in a couple of days so we are you know we've got ourselves to the chill and now we're prepping for the chaos good news is we're not looking for water we're looking for, no. bottles of pop -ups. <laughs> we're looking for pop cookies and um, we feel we've made it and I love coming to Walmart and particularly McDonald's next door it always reminds me of like my childhood trips growing up. We always used to nip into the Mackeys. We've come to the men's graphic tees first just because we have found some really good ones in the past. You can see they're only $8.98 which isn't bad at all. I can see they've got like Naruto, Mandalorian. They've got some examples of ones that they do here as well. So they've got Nightmare on Elm Street which would be quite cool. They've got Pink Floyd, Ice Cube. What's that one? Looney Tunes. We found some more horror themed stuff here. So at $8.98, they've got Friday 13th and they've also got Nightmare on Elm Street. So if you haven't really got too much horror stuff and you're going to HHN, I'd say Walmart's where it's at. So you bought a Chucky one here a few years ago and that's actually washed up pretty well. You still wear it, don't you? Yeah, I've still got it, yeah. It's a little bit tight these days. So I, don't <laughs> I don't think you can blame Walmart for that one. You can try a compo face and see if it'll work. Yeah. But. We've just seen a whole stack of like Stranger Things baking stuff and we've come to the realisation we're going to need a trolley. <laughs> There's just going to be too much that we, want, that we won't be able to carry. So we're heading back outside, grabbing a trolley and then we're going to come back in and load up. I've already embarrassed myself saying, excuse me, rather than the carts, trying to, you know, when it breaks, rather than the carts, you have any baskets? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, round two, but with the trolley. <laughs> we can do some damage. Yep. Just noticed they're advertising Legends Collide. Seen her? With all the pop. When you come to the left, when you first come in, they've got a little grab and go. So we're thinking about getting some bits just for the room. And look at the size of this super sub. How much is it? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Like that's that's my hand. It's like three hands full, isn't it? But the prices here aren't too bad. They've got like a Caesar salad. That's three twenty-seven. They've got some sandwiches there for five fifty. Or well, they've got just some like little ones for three dollars. Jim's grabbed a Southwest chicken wrap for five dollars fifty, and I'm going to try this Fiesta salad with chicken this is three dollars 27. when we were flying out someone told us about mr beast cookies that they were asked to pick up we never knew that he was doing these that jimmy's a really big fan of mr beast like on the youtube so we're gonna take him a packet of these back aren't we to be honest i think that's a packet that someone's just like chucked on the side in the wrong place there weren't any other packets there otherwise we probably would have gotten more than one packet but it's a little bit chaotic in here isn't it with people like loading up the trolleys with like food and water and stuff i'm gonna get these eight like bottles of dr pepper these are five dollars 28 for all of them so pretty good value for drinks in the room there's not a chance we're gonna get water there's a huge queue going through the middle of walmart so we're gonna get sparkling water uh, blackberry and lemon um just because it's 
may be the most hydrating thing we can find without sugar. We'll see. We just want to get some like fluids for in the room. This is all the Stranger Things stuff that we've found so far. So I think we're definitely gonna get two packs. Yeah, two packs Hellfire Club Brownie Kit. And then we're gonna get one of these Rinko Mania cookie kits as well. I like that you've got like the decoration. So it actually like says Rinko Mania on it and it says Hellfire Club. We're not gonna get the drink mix ones here because I don't think we'd use them if I'm honest. And they also have the waffle decorating, but we don't really have waffles. <laughs> so I don't think we'll get that one. Understandably, the food section is like very busy and like lots of carts around. So we're gonna get out of the way because we are lucky and I do think we will be very well looked after at the Universal Hotels and like we were talking to one of the Universal staff members today and she was very reassuring like saying how safe it is. We should be fine, we're just gonna have like a little wander around like the rest of Walmart now that does seem like a lot quieter. This top's just caught our eye for Jimmy, it's only 6 98 but that can be his um, St. Patrick's Day top. <laughs> he is quarter Irish after all, isn't he? This has been the extent of the Walmart shop. I know it doesn't look too healthy. We've got a salmon and a salad under there and just some like chocolates and cookies, some crisps. These are for Jimmy, like so we can like do some strange things baking. He's got some Mr. Beast cookies, got some drinks and the t-shirt. We've just ordered a lift from outside Walmart. It's like eight, eight o'clock now. The day's flown by, hasn't it? Absolutely. Doesn't feel like we've been out for 11 hours. It feels like we've only been out from like four or five. Part-time shift for us though, isn't it? <laughs> I mentioned uh, 18 hours in a party yesterday. And just reference on price, it's 10.99 to get to the Walmart back to Dockside, which isn't too bad with what you'd save with like stocking up stocking up with the drinks. We're back in the room. I'm gonna try on that Disney jumper just because it was quite busy in there so I didn't try one on for size. I've gone for like a bigger size than what I'd normally get thinking oversized is better. Oh, you gotta be happy with that. That is big, but you know what, it's cozy. This I'm is... fashionable. It's not fashionable. I probably won't wear it out, but just for in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but for in the house, the only thing I'd change about it is, is everything. No, is I wish it was like a bit like tight around the neck. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. a bit like I might get cold round here, I might need a scarf. To like oh my it. god. <laughs> but you please. I'm really happy with that. I think that's been best deal of the day. Oh god. I this. think that's been best deal. What would you say best deal of the day is? Deal of the day, Jimmy's um Superman t-shirt $7.50. Superman t-shirt was a good deal. It's been a good day, it's been a good day. We were under budget for like our daily budget, weren't we? And today we've probably gone over our budget, but we know with like what we're eating and what we're drinking, we're gonna be probably well under most days. I know budgeting like comes up in like the whole like Orlando planning world and we're quite open with like what we pay and what we budget. We've said in previous videos, normally when it's the three of us, we do $200 a day. And we said after the last Feb trip, we probably would have upped that to 250. Us two coming and planning for this trip, we were gonna to plan to do like 100 or maybe just over dollars a day, but we did really well with saving up money. So our budget, because we didn't spend any on that first day, it meant the remaining seven days, we've had $170 a day. Yesterday, we only spent 56. Today, we probably have gone, gone over that. So we need to work out what we've got left in the Revolut, what dollars we've got left, and then we'll come up with like a new budget for what we've got for the rest of the holiday. Yeah. But potentially, there's a very real possibility that we're gonna lose a couple of days of the holiday yeah. to weather anyway. So if that happens... Yeah yeah we know we've got enough for food and drink because today i mean the cakes were a splurge <laughs> yeah. but we've only really done like 50 dollars on food so we always say orlando is as expensive or as cheap as you like and food wise we have gone cheap today haven't yeah. we obviously if you're doing a table service you could easily like double what we've spent in food yeah. plus we haven't been, well we don't drink alcohol out here and obviously that's really expensive so we're open about budgets and we're happy to talk about it but for what we're bringing out might not be the same for like how you guys like holiday so just like to explain a little bit about how um how our brains work with like with the planning we're actually doing all right no i feel comfortable yeah i right, yeah. feel really comfortable with that and we get paid on wednesday as well <laughs> so. also just to say the lift rides haven't been included in any no, of that because point, yeah. that's linked to my PayPal account back home and we've done about fifty dollars in lifts. Um so yeah, we're not we're not including that in this. But yeah. going forward, we shouldn't need to be getting that many more lifts, will we? Because we get all the universal transportation included here. We might do a little bit of shopping a couple of other days because I'm gutted we haven't got more strange things stuff mm. for Jimmy. Anyway, 
we're gonna end the video here thanks for coming along like with the shopping day i know that these videos are sometimes people's cups of tea and then some people like really aren't interested in the shopping at all but if they're in the latter part they're not watching they're not this watching this bit it don't really matter does true it? yeah we can forget about those guys right yeah. anyway thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in the next video night Bye. everyone so guys it's the end of the video so please like subscribe and you know do all that good stuff and see you in the next one Bye bye